Welcome to statistics again. Uh, our subject is uh, certainly the nectar of the gods. In this uh, lecture in module one, we will continue looking at terms and definitions. And I remind you that if you torture numbers, they will confess to anything. Our subject in this discussion will be quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis, as you will recall, is about using numbers to describe or predict phenomena. Now, I want you to consider this large group here just a minute of smiley faces of many varying colors. They are indeed delightful. Now, we might uh, describe some things about that group. We might look at color, number, what's most prevalent, least prevalent, and so on. These things that we would describe, or these descriptors, are called descriptive statistics. So the very first segment of quantitative analysis is that of descriptive statistics. Now I want you to look at these five uh, smiley faces here. Our group had five colors in it. Yellow, lavender, tan, blue, and orange. And let's do some counting of those five colors. We note that the yellow have seven, the lavender have six, the tan have nine, the blue have 12, and the orange had four. So our most prevalent is the blue smiley face, and our least prevalent is the orange smiley face. When we have a large group, we might use quantitative analysis for a different purpose. We can use quantitative analysis to describe by using descriptive statistics, or we can use quantitative analysis to predict phenomena. When we have a very large group, we might want to examine a part of the group and predict facts about the entire group. The process of describing a part and inferring facts about the whole group is called inferential statistics. So quantitative analysis has two major parts, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Let's examine a portion of that group that we saw just a moment ago. We'll select it thus with a circle. In this circle, we have selected a part of a much larger group. When we look at this part, we might want to examine that part and predict facts about the entire group. We notice in the part that we selected that we have three yellow, two lavender, three tan, six blue, and three orange. We might notice that blue is most prevalent, but we would notice that lavender is least prevalent. If we were to do some things with inferential statistics, we might predict based upon or infer based upon the, sound, the, group, the part that we took that blue will be most prevalent and lavender will be least prevalent in the group. The process of uh, using descriptors to describe a group is called descriptive statistics, and the process of describing a part and inferring facts about the whole group is called inferential statistics. Now, there are two terms that you need to add to your vocabulary. You have first quantitative analysis from our last discussion, Quantitative analysis about using numbers to describe and or predict phenomena. But your new terms are first descriptive st statistics. Descriptive statistics are used to describe a group. The next term is that of inferential statistics. Inferential statistics is about describing a part to infer facts about the whole. Welcome to the land of nerds. You're beginning to learn the language. Quantitative analysis, descriptive statistics, inferential statistics. You've come far. Now, before we end, I just want to thank you again uh, for your support. Uh, remind, remember that your support keeps my family fed. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. This is Dr. Dog signing off.